Sumerian Ch Labyrinth Layer 1. Oh, this is spooky. Look at the people up here. They're all being... Actually, it kind of looks like a, a, a Christian painting for like Jesus and all of his apost apostles. I almost said apostates. That's a very different. Let's see. Hand lantern. Is it on? It's already turned on. Yeah. Okay. Do I light this? I do. So now I can teleport here. Look at my little bandage guys. They don't understand what bandages are. That's adorable. All right. Take a quick look around. Let's be slow and careful. I have no idea what these have in store for me. I don't know what their similarities or differences are between this and like a Yarnum run. That's just a thing. Oh, is, how's my weapon durability doing? Uh, 136. It's it'll survive for now. So two doors. Is this is this a door? This is not a door. Okay, one door. No choices to be made yet. Hey guys, ready to party? I'm just create. Don't mind me. I just created your world that you live in. Is this all a part of the dream? Is that what the light a lamp? But the other lamp was right there. This is the two closest lamps I've ever seen. They're in line of sight of each other. Weird. How often do lamps happen here? Maybe that's just procedurally generated too, so that's just random and these ones are a little too close together. We have... So we're underground somewhere, because there's roots above me. Immediately getting an uh, Ash Lake vibe from that. What's below me? We got, we have a uh, unique chance to see before we go. We have three enemies here on the left. Oh, rats. Two rats on my right. Do I, have, do I use the... Descend ladder. Let's try the ladder. Since falling will probably hurt me. Hey guys, don't mind me. I just have really long range, so you know, we're gonna have a good old time here. Ooh, you guys are vulnerable to death. Classic mistake. You, you should have gotten death insurance. It's like life insurance, except it's you, no one pay, no one gets paid when you die. It's just I get your souls. That's the whole thing. Ta-da! So ladder goes forward, or over there. Another another ladder goes somewhere, but. We have enemies to clear out, which I think... Ooh! We also have a ground level passageway. I'll check that out first out of these options, I think. Just because it's the more obvious first path. I just have a specific way of processing... <gasps> directions I'm given in a game. As far as what order to take them in. Are the other guys going to attack me? What is that guy? Is he a zombie? Oh, he's coming down. Well, that's going to make him easier to fight. Is he still going to throw stuff at me? Yep. Come on in, buddy. The water's dead. There we go. Taken care of. How polite of him to jump down like an idiot for me. He, he might have been a problem if I had to try to climb the ladder while he was attacking me. Did they throw stuff too? Is that another passage over there? In die. You know, you know match for me and my awesome chain that it doesn't have to be in normal melee range for. Oh, nope. I don't want none of that. I don't want none of that. Ooh. I screwed up. I wasn't watching my stamina and I let it f empty on myself. That was a mistake. Ooh, blood vial. At least they dropped me supplies. What kind of stuff do we around here? That looks like a doorway. No? It's sealed. That one's sealed too, so not as many paths as I thought. We're back to the land of... We have two ladders and two... We have two ladders and one bottom level passageway, so we'll check the bottom one first. The fun thing about this is people... Well, I can still fuck up, but people can't be like, You didn't get the thing that I know that exists because of a video I watched of someone's video of the stuff. Because no one's seen this place before, it's all new. I'm gonna go to cane mode, because it's just one dude in a confined area and I'd like to be able to stabby stab his face off. Is this a bag dude? What are, wait, what are you? What are you? He looks like the guys that attacked me with the bags, but I can't quite tell. It's a little hard to see from here. Hey buddy. Oh yeah, it's a bag dude. Oh, bag dude that takes a lot of damage apparently. Oh, he mad. He very angry at me. Hit him. There we go. Back off. All right, that went smoothly. Is it weaker than the other ones, or am I just stronger? Both are valid options. We're getting a lot. Of, I'm noticing that basically everyone I kill is giving me an item right now. That's nice. Anyone gonna attack me? I'm hearing noises, but they could be somewhere else too. They don't might not be on this floor. Oh, oh. Oh! Oh! Hello! Hello, Sun's Fortress! Wow, I thought there was a ceiling directly above me. Well, thank you for killing yourselves, guys. That's really handy. Did a quick exploration around this corner. Looking for people that are actually on this floor, because... Up there is going to be where we end up... Oh, cool! Item! More, more, a little bit of Molotov. 
Awesome, they're just showering me in Molotovs here, which is normally a bad thing because they light you on fire. Five more, wow, they're just killing themselves in, gro in large groups. Not, unfortunately not worth a lot of souls. Oh, there's another path here that goes somewhere else. There's some, a bunch of, oh, those rats see me. All right, we're gonna go into chain mode. Oh, those guys gonna sneak up on me? Oh, oh, these guys are sneaking up on me. Okay, I thought they were all gonna kill themselves. Ow, shit, I didn't mean to lunge forward with that. That was my bad. Whoopsie. Is that a move? Do I like backstep? If I if I press it, hello buddy. That is a move. Oh cool. I just learned a new move that could be useful for bosses. If I backstep and then hit attack, while I'm backstepping, my character follows it up by lunging forward. I'm a little concerned that we have rats potentially approaching from this direction, or not. They don't seem. Maybe they're not approaching. They're just swarming. But up top we have other bad guys. They might sneak up behind me. Any side paths? Looks pretty linear. Is that a big rat? He looks spooky scary. No one behind me? I just don't want to be snuck up on. I'm already on board with this whole chalice dungeon thing. This is fun. What's in there? That's a big chamber. Is it just a bunch of rats? I'm gonna come out swinging. I missed twice. Way to go, me. Nailed it. Alright. Hey, rats. Is this poison swamp? Does this hurt me? Nope, no poison buildup. Okay. Shining coins. Hey, guys. You want to come visit? Anything over there? Looking for looking for surprises. Oh god! He got me! There we go. A little bit more control with the cane mode. They're, are they going to attack me in a group now? Hey buddies. Yeah! Oh shit. New trick did not help. New trick did not help. I was like, I'll do my back, I'll do my back step trick. Yeah! That's how you do it. That's how you do it. There we go. <laughs> I yeah, I like my new backstep trick. Yeah. I'm more like, ha, cha. That's a cool little combo to do. All right, that went smoothly-ish. Took a bad hit at some point. Am I, in am I diseased? Oh, it went away, I guess, so I guess it's not that bad. I had some sort of status effect on my character. Quicksilver bu bullets. Uh. uh Blood vials, we're getting stocked up, awesome. Quicksilver bullets, at this rate I might actually max out on one of these items, which would be great, because that means I could fight some boss like 10 times without having to resupply. Molotovs? How did they get a wagon, wait, how did a wagon get down here? I guess it's all built for passage, passage so like any of these, someone could have brought a wagon through a number of areas, I guess, and just got stuck down here when everything went wrong. You gotta transport all the storage somehow. What about this thing? Do, if I walk into it, does something happen? Nope. We're not having that Demon Souls moment now. Let's see here. Keep expecting a secret somewhere. Alright, so the rats were just guarding some basic supplies. So we'll head back here towards the, uh, the horrifying swinging blade trap area. They're still coming out. Wow. They're not, ver they're not worth very many souls. They must be infinitely spawning somehow. The number of them coming doesn't make sense to me. I think they might be like the only case I can think of. Actually, not the only case. It happened in, in, in a Dark Souls 2 outside the gate where uh, we have infinite spawning uh, enemies. We have two ladders to pick from. I'm just going to pick one arbitrarily. What's going to be up here? Hello, friends. So this is one of the swing... Oh, this is the swinging blade I was watching. Hey, friend. Just going to go ahead and wipe you out. I like that we have interconnected chambers in this in this procedurally generated area. Just gotta be careful here. Is this guy gonna throw me something? Oh, he's gonna throw stuff at me. Okay. Ow. You're being very impolite. Very impolite. Alright. I'm going to quickly heal, and I'm going to look for an antidote. Antidote, 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 antidote. Where's my antidote? Ow. Rude. You're being very rude. How dare you? All right, so we blew some through some stuff there. All right, that didn't go well, so I'm gonna go ahead and I had to remember that antidote's just on the top of the screen. That was my mistake. I think these red guys spawn over and over again. All right. Oh yeah, they're coming out of the ground. Someone, someone summoning them. Who? Oh! oh, you sneaky. Was that was that guy scripted, or is that or did he just happen to be going by the door at that moment? Who knows? Are there scripted enemies in procedurally generated areas? Let's go fuck this guy up. Let's go fuck this lady up. Hello, friend. Ow, ow, ow. 
Wow, everything sucked there for me. Oh, I, need, I really need to f fix that poison, fix that poison. Ow, shit. Okay, I'm out of here. I am out each 5,000. Quick heal. Quick heal. Everything sucks here. Everything sucks. Ow. 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 God damn it. <laughs> Couldn't get away. Let's just roll out of here before they land on me or something. Alright, so. Burning through some of those blood vials they've been giving me now. So that's an original one. That guy isn't red. That's dangerous. I'm gonna go check the other path instead. I mean, we'll come back, but I want to see if there's other stuff over here. Maybe I'll replenish some of the uh, blood vials we just lost. That was dangerous. That guy, did they stun me or something when I tried to approach? Oh, this is a door that opens. Locked by device. Well, these say, can I say, can I read these? No? Alright, this must be a shortcut for later. Are there shortcuts in a procedurally generated dungeon? Maybe, maybe they're just built that way? That, that'd be cool. Wow, he followed me all the way out here. Okay. Hey, buddy. Actually, what if I don't kill you? What if I leave you? What if I leave you alive? Ah. Can they keep spawning guys infinitely, or do they have an X number of enemies? Because if they have a set number of enemies, there could be a benefit to leaving them alive. Because then they'll be out here, instead of where, instead of inside, will it be dangerous? Get, get fucked. Oh, looks like they're just, they're showing up on their own. All right, go into cane mode. I really want to fuck this guy up. Fuck you, and finish her. Alright. Do you have any friends, or are you the only one? Quicksilver bullets. Anything cool here? No. Head upstairs, look for any other summoners that might be around. Oh. What is that? I don't like it. Alright, let's hang out down here. Just kill any of these small guys I find in the area. Because we just want to make sure there's no, no surprises if I'm going to fight that... If I'm going to fight whatever that guy is, we're not going to want to fight anyone else. There we go. Anyone coming this way? Nope. Anyone who tried to follow me through those probably got killed anyway. So, go to pebble mode. If I see anyone besides the boss, there we go. Hey, buddy. Oh, you're coming on your own. There we go. Dealt with. He hasn't decorated yet. He's all gross and oily looking. What is that? Someone's throwing poison at us. Oh, he's back there. He's behind the- he's behind- oh! That's not a fog door, that's like a fog... That's fog coming out of a thing. Ow, shit! Uh, oh, that's the hand lantern. Antidote. I was admittedly not expecting him to have that kind of reach. Okay. Turn the hand lantern back on. My bad. I wish I could just have it on all the time without having it take up a slot. Alright, when does this guy aggro? Oh! Multiple poison guys. They should be my priority if I can. Alright, keep our distance. I want to focus on the slow poison dudes because they're genuinely dangerous to fight with anything in conjunction. Hopefully I can mess with that guy's pathing a little bit. There we go. Ow, shit, really? Fucking die back here. Where's the other guy? Here he comes. Here comes my death. Doo -doo -doo -doo. I'm burning through antidotes here. This is not good either. Probably should have switched to poison resistant resistance gear, huh? That should have been the first thing I did when I got attacked by poison guys. Anyone behind me? No? Alright, this is a nice big area to fight you in. Uh, Maltov. In the face. It's very effective, actually. Ow! Shit! Alright, scary. Oh, he's not so bad. He's just like another one of those big awkward giants from the, from the overworld. There we go. He's not too bad. He's like the other giants, but he's just got a big scary weapon instead of a dumb little brick. Add up to bloodstone. Is that a new? Is that an upgrade? Add up bloodstone. Oh, cool. It's all it's blunt only, but it's a 5.4%. I don't think my weapon is blunt though, necessarily. It's a thrusting weapon. No blunt listed. Uh what about in mode two? Is that kind of stuff specified? I'm not sure. I'm always, I'm always unsure about whether or not the two modes of a weapon do different types of damage, and how to look that up exactly. I love the multiple movesets that they added to this game, but I'm a little concerned about it not being entirely clear how it works necessarily. So I'm going to go to Yarnum set. So that's a good set to have right now. I should have switched to this the moment I got poisoned the first time, but I didn't. There we go. The uh, I think the Black Church set gives me more poison resist, but this is a better option for trying to keep myself safe. 
uh, from poison while also being safe from other things. It'll disappoint the yeah that disappoints the dissipates the uh, smoke that they were hiding behind. There we go, all cleaned up, and this probably opens this 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 will probably open up the uh, yeah this will probably open the door we're trying to get through in the other area. Unlocked. All right, somewhere a door in the in the old labyrinth to the old labyrinth has opened. This is neat so far. And I can keep playing different versions of these all the time, because that's pretty freaking cool. Although you might have to worry about being over becoming overleveled as a result or something. Alright, let's try to be careful here. Yep. Yep. Yeah. I made it. I think there's still more red guys running around downstairs. Keep an eye out in case they approach me. Now I can kill them without fear, because they're not going to come back as far as I know. Listening for sounds of approachers, not hearing any. Let's head on upstairs. There's supposed to be Chalice, du uh, Chalice Dungeon bosses. I'm interested in seeing how that works out. I assume the bosses aren't proced procedurally generated, but I there must be a, a pool of them that goes through. Alright, what's gonna happen that's bad for me in here? Chain mode? Just chain, chain mode's really... It's weird. So, chain mode's good for fast reactions and in fighting individual enemies. Chain mode's good for fighting enemies with long reach or hordes of enemies. And sometimes it's just a good uh, panic mode flail when you're getting attacked from... A number of uh, people at once. These are just sort of walls. Is it gonna give me another checkpoint or anything? What do I? What do I? Ex oh, I'm dead. Oh! Hi. Welcome to Nightmare Nightmare. Yeah, can I take your nightmare? Okay, what the fuck is you? Is there anything cool around here? Just a room? Okay, I was not expecting him to just fucking do that. Okay. Uh, Molotov in the face. It's not very effective. Okay. Good to know. Where's your weak spot at? You're scary. Ow. Give me my hit points back. Give me my hit points back. I need those. I need those to live. Ow, I'm dead. I didn't get my hit points back. Alright, so... What the fuck is this nightmare? Uh, I'm thinking... I'm thinking chain whip boss fight, not... Not cane fight. <laughs> he hits hard. Ooh. I'm gonna use this real quick. Bye! I'll be back for the fight in a second. I just want to spend these souls... Blood, blood echoes. <laughs> that was very rude. You're not even gonna welcome me into your home. Ow. Okay, that hurt. That hurt. Is that like an infinite combo? How many? How long can his combo be? Is he done yet? He's not done. He's not done. He's not done. He's not done. Although I recovered a lot of hit points there by uh, hitting him. So it looks like he caps out at four hits. That's good to know. Avoid his jump attacks, which come sometimes. Oh, that was a single attack, so his thrusting attack's only one, apparently. That one. There we go. Thankfully, my my weapon seems to auto-lock on his head-ish. Just a two-hit combo this time, huh? He's relatively... Is that... Here's the four-hit combo. Or not. Oh, look at that. Staggered. I'm about to die now. Ow. I love the range of this whip, it's just silly. Now, Ow. Ow. God, I blew it completely. I, I went into panic mode. Alright. Alright, asshole. I got you. What's really nice so far about this guy is the, uh... Oh. This fight has a really... You have a really short uh, loading screen to wait through after this fight. Which is so nice. I really hope that the patch makes the whole game like this instead of just this one specific part. Because you only, you're only on a loading screen for like 5 to 10 seconds as opposed to like 30 to 50 as much as it seems elsewhere. I'm a little late. Okay, he didn't punish me. This is very much an old school, uh, like early game Dark Souls fight, isn't it? Like it's not, it's not a tough one. Big, slow, easily predicted moves. It's funny because some of the guys I've been fighting aren't necessarily harder as far as moveset goes. Ow. Oh, don't panic, don't panic. I fought some bosses that aren't, don't necessarily have a harder moveset to avoid, but uh, they're so chaotic looking. This character is all nice and simple looking, which makes him really easy to dodge. Oh. Oh. Ow. Just get out of there. I, I got greedy there. Maybe I do need more stamina. Ow. What the f- That attack, that jump, that jump tracks like crazy. Okay. Just watch out. There we go. 
Just gotta be careful here. That jump tracks surprisingly well, and he didn't even use it the entire last attempt, which caught me off guard. Okay. Get out of there, get out of there. Uh. Spooky scary, spooky scary. So what happens when he goes red? Yep. Maybe he was healing his own bleed? Oh. Oh, attempted dodge was unsuccessful. Also, my attack missed. That's also kind of a bummer. Let's see. Combo over? Whenever he does the thrusting attack, that's when he knows his combo's over for sure. Oh, that, I, I went for a jump attack and I didn't press forward properly, so I didn't do it. Oh. Just keep cut. Just keep dodging backwards. This is definitely not. A, this is definitely not a dodge behind the boss enemy. There's a lot of enemies where, you where it's good to dodge behind them, but this is not one of them. Because this guy has a really wide, crazy swing that'll hit you basically every anywhere. Making progress. Watch out. That's the thrusting attack. Punish it. Punish that. Oh yes. Look who's vulnerable now. Headshot. Oh. Here comes the attack. Alright, he's bleeding like crazy now. So I think when he goes red, that's him healing the bleeding effect, because the bleed went away when he went red. Ow! Shit, I thought it was over. Okay, careful. Careful. Huh. Keep my distance. Is he done? No, he's not done. Six attacks? So far he seems to cap at six now instead of instead of uh the previous uh four. Did I start? O did I make him start over his heal? I think I did. Oh, I just turned. Okay, that's not a good idea. Oh wait, I have guns. <laughs> I haven't really been using that, have I? Haven't necessarily needed to either, though. Let's not. Let's not. Let's not switch things up too much at the last second. Prey slaughtered. All right, two add up bloodstones. So even more upgraded stones, but unfortunately those stones only are. I think they're still only. They're still only for blunt weapons, right? Add up blood, gemstone, blunt. Oh, physical attack plus three. That's not bad, but the blunt is a problem because I don't have a blunt attack. I have a thrust attack. All right. Either way, we're fine. All right. I really like how short the loading screens were with that fight. That's so nice. Let's go ahead and light this so we can press forward. 